So have it right <clears throat> up the churl, up the minerals FC. Big up to every single one of you live and locked in. Hope everyone's doing well, winning life and all that jazz. <coughs> Excuse me. First and foremost, guys, I want you all to smash to pieces that like button. If you haven't already, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed to Minerals FC, make sure you hit that subscribe button because let's have it right. We are 80 subscribers away from 10K on the Minerals FC. Let's have it right, 10K. We've been on 5K, 6K, 7Ks, being the most influential, land the most minerals, dictating everything, bruv, mudding anything that's in sight, yeah? So let's have it right. Let's get to the 10K, and it'll only be up and up and up from now. So make sure you hit that like button to push the streams out, push the channel out, and make sure you hit the subscribe button as well while you're at it. We've got the notification bell, ding dong, let's have it right, all that jazz. So make sure you smash that so you know when we go live. Um, as we know that YouTube likes to play silly games with the Minnows FC. So make sure you do hit the notification bell. We've got the Minnows FC Ultras membership, which is pinned at the top of the live chat. And we've also got the new Rumble, Minnows FC on Rumble, which is in the chat and in the description below. So click on that and make sure you, you follow that one. And we've got the Minnows FC Extra channel on top of that as well, which I need to do some work on it, bruv. It's like I need I need someone to help me out, clip and put stuff out on that channel because I'll, I'll tell you what, I just don't have the time, man. Having this alone is enough. But let's have it right. Salute Don Roman Abramovich. Yeah, in fact, in fact, we're going to do it one more time because you know what? I'm sick of this nonsense flying about. Roman Abramovich! Roman Abramovich! Roman Abramovich! Roman Abramovich! We salute the general, the GOAT, the greatest owner in world football to ever exist. And there ain't going to be another Don Roman. So drink the minerals in Clown Lake because you'll never be a Don Roman Abramovich. So have it right. You're clowns. You're numpties. You're melts. You're wrongins. That's what you are. So have it right. But today, today, tonight, I hope everyone's doing well. Salute to all the Minnows FC Ultras, bruv. Respect to everyone in here. Big up to Immortal Technique, becoming a Minnows FC Ultra member of the channel. Always been on this channel, always supporting. Respect to you, a love for the, for the support uh, and the donation. And look what we got here. We've got Don Roman Abarich. He's gifted five Minnows FC Ultra memberships. So salute to Don Roman, man. He's landing minerals, even when he's out of Chelsea, being sanctioned, bruv. Let's have it right. And for that, let's do it one more time. Why not? We're on the Minnows FC. We love Don Roman. Let's have it right. We don't have an agenda on Don Roman. We love him, bruv. And no one will be able to slander him, especially on our platform. Roman Abramovich! 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 Drink them minerals in. In fact, let's drink it in now. Let's drink it in now. Respect. Big up Don Roman landing the, the gifted memberships. I can see off the top of my head, Mickey Droy's in there. Big up Mickey Droy, boy. He's a, he's a Minnows FC Ultra. He's a Minnows FC Ultra. Everyone's a Minnows FC Ultra, bruv. Let's have it right. Shout out Cursor. Shout out everyone in here, bruv. Everyone land the damn Minnows. Make sure you get in the chat. Make sure you do subscribe. 80 subs away from 10K. Let's have it right. Monumental on the YouTube scene. Monumental for the voice, to the voice that we push out. The true narrative. For our Chels, because we love our Chels. So let's keep that rolling. We'll never change. We'll never sell out brown envelopes. We won't be bought. So have it right. We'll never be bought on the Minnows FC. And that separates us from everyone else. So today, breaking news. Plenty of breaking news. But we're going to pay a close attention to the one, the one announcement that was made today. And the announcement made today, funny enough, Oh, mate, we're going to do a lot of mudding and exposing today. I'll tell you that now. I'll tell you that now. Um, of course, it's none than the other. Toothpick Jacobs, who wants to come out um, with the news, as everyone else. And we're going to put it up for everyone to see. We're going to put it up for everyone to see. And um, absolutely embarrass, 
embarrass everyone here and mud them. So there's Toothpick Jacobs. The Chelsea's fan advisory board <clears throat> <coughs> issues a strong statement countering a letter written by Chelsea Supporters Trust which said fans aren't being consulted. They say, listen to this, Ultras, yeah? Bluntly, we do not recognise the suggestion that fans are not being involved in the future of the club. This goes directly against our experience, so we wanted to set the record straight. Every Chelsea fan, including the ownership group, is frustrated at, the, at setbacks or results that don't go our way. But the team and the club more broadly needs its, needs its supporters. The only people who benefit from Chelsea fans turning on Chelsea are fans of other clubs. If we're pulling in the same direction, everything going to be all right. Yeah? So they didn't address anything. They dismissed the Chelsea Supporters Trust. They're a fan advisory board where Chelsea supporters trust. There's a difference. There's a difference between the two. And for that matter, we're going to differentiate the difference between a fan and a supporter. And I'll read it to you. You can go on Google, type it in, you little keyboard warriors, you little Twitter virgins. Um, listen, and, 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 and for the clown lakes. For the clown lakes. A fan. A person who has a strong interest in or admiration for a particular sport, art form, or famous person, football fans. A fan is someone who supports, maybe not really support, is a fan because of their interest. They like the idea, the ideology of following something. Buying into something. Then we have the supporter. The supporter. A person who is actively interested and in and wishes success for a particular sports team. A Chelsea supporter. A Chelsea supporter is diehard, knowledgeable, loyal. Goes through with the club thick and thin. Through thick and thin. No matter what. And supports the club. Let's have it right. A fan is more of a dilute version. There's a difference. So for people that don't like that, well, I'm sorry, it's in plain English right now. Google it. And you take it how you want to take it and digest them minerals how you want to digest them. It doesn't change the facts. What's the Chelsea Supporters Trust? It is called Chelsea Supporters Trust. And what did these clown lakes implement? When they first came into the club, they created a fan advisory board. Fan. It's the eye of the fan. We have to keep looking through the eye of the fan. All right. So, one's based on supporters who represent thousands of supporters who are members, paying members, donators, long Die hard home away Europe supporters are part of the Chelsea Supporters Trust. And I'll read you the board. The board we have Mark Meehan, who's chair, Vice Chairman Dominic Rosso, we all saw on Sky Sports, Cliff Auger, board member, Gillian Bromfield, board member, Dave Chidgey, come on, everyone knows Stanford Chidge, legend, Debs Cody. Chelsea Heritage Partnership board member. Paul Hay, board member and membership secretary. Dan Silver, I know Dan Silver, legend. Media lead. And Ben Williams, board member, right? Supporters through thick and thin, travel, home away, Europe. Let's have it right. Now, let's go to Fan Advisory Board. Let's go to the Fan Advisory Board right now. And let me share it to you. This is all going to make sense. Fan advisory board. We have supporters, advisors to the board, the Chelsea board. Gary Beckwith, Tracy Brown, and Neil Beard. And then additional fan 
board members. Arjun Pillar, Frankie Harriton, Mark Meehan, Emily Craftman. Now, Mark Meehan, we know, is the chair of the Chelsea Supporters Trust with Dominic Rosso, who is vice chair. And he is additional FAB member. And the reason I say additional, because the three kingpins that are on the main board of the fan advisory board are Gary Beckwith, Tracy Brown, Neil Beard. They're the ones you have to say. They're the golden children, the golden ones to be chosen by these clown lakes that created this fan advisory board. Now, why would you create a fan advisory board when you've got a Chelsea Supports Trust that you can just work directly with? Make it make sense. Why would you not just go directly to them? They've been there where before you bought a club. It's known. Thousands upon thousands of Chelsea supporters, proper Chelsea supporters, are part of the Chelsea Supporters Trust. They're the voice for the supporters, not this fan advisory board. This fan advisory board has been set up by Clown Lake initially when they first took over the club for situations like this that we are in right now. Because why? Like everything else at the football club, they can control it. Because it's all about control. So they've got their little yes men on the board. And they ordered those yes men. And I'm not questioning their support for Chelsea. I'm not questioning their support for Chelsea. I'm sure they support Chelsea. But I'm sorry, when you work directly with these clowns, you know what I mean? And you're going against the Chelsea Supports Trust, which basically you are. You're in a bit of a pickle there, in my book, and in many Chelsea supporters. So let's have it right. They have said, we don't recognise the suggestion that fans are not being involved in the future of the club. Well, you're involved. You're involved because you're on the board that the, the owners set up, that they control, that they directly set up. This goes directly against our experience, so we wanted to set the record straight. We'll set the record straight. Every Chelsea fan, including the, the ownership group, is frustrated at setbacks or results that don't go away. But the team and the club more broadly needs its supporters. The only people who benefit from Chelsea fans turned on Chelsea are fans of other clubs. Let's have it right. We've got rival fans bantering our football club. We've got rival fans speaking facts about the situation at Chelsea Football Club because we're in the gutter and we're a mid-table team. We spent one billion and we're in our second season and we haven't progressed or developed or shown any trust the process or any process to believe in because it's a failure. And you have the audacity and cheek to mock the Chelsea Supporters Trust by communicating to them. When Meatloaf Bowley, I would do anything for pound notes and Siri matching with his Birkin bags, hand them out like our Happy Meals. All they had to do was communicate with the Chelsea fans, uh, the Chelsea supporters trust. They didn't do that. They used these ones to do it. These brown envelope up merchants. These ones on the payroll. Yeah? And you have the audacity in cheek to say every little thing's going to be all right. Don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing... It's going to be all right. We'll buy more children for the first team. Streamline beachhead, maximize profitability. Don't worry. We got meatloaf. Bowley Siri Merchant and Josie Fogazi. Who have muddied our Chelsea. Let's have it right. This is all the minerals landing right now. So don't worry about a thing. Because we're the proper chels. We're coming for your fucking heads. Let's have it right. That's what we're going to do. Clown Lake out. Clown Lake out. Let's have it right. All day long. Blue Co. 22 Mid Co. Don't worry about a thing. Because the Chels protest is well swinging, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's have it right. Big up to everyone. 
smash the, the like button, smash that subscribe button, bro. Yeah, let's have it right. Because not only that, you had the CEO, Juratsik. I didn't know you had rats in a in a fucking uh, dinosaur park. I didn't know rats existed. Yeah. Well, this rat somehow infiltrated Chelsea Football Club, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's an absolute disgrace. I have to question, right? I have to question. Why the hell is the fan advisory board going to war and questioning the Chelsea Supporters Trust? Because they're ordered by Meatloaf Bowley, Siri Merchant, Clown Lake, Blue Co 22, Midco Limited. They have done that as a PR stunt. To why? Create a divide in the fan base. You're going to war with the Chelsea because we don't recognize the Chelsea fan advisory board. The fan, the eye of the fan, because you control it. Well, you don't control the Chelsea Supports Trust. Let's have it right. And you've shown outright disrespect. Outright disrespect to the Chelsea Supports Trust by this PR stunt. Another PR stunt. There's many more you've done ever since you've seen the Clown Lake stickers, the Roman Abramovich stickers, and the Chelsea Supports Trust letter. You know what I'm saying? Trust the protest. There's no trust the process at Chelsea. We trust winning trophies. Let's have it right. Yeah? Exactly. Chris Jurisic, the extinct extinct PR man. Because what he said dismissed everything the Chelsea Supporters Trust said. What the fan advisory board is, they're mocking our, us supporters. Like we're turning, we're rival fans. We don't have the best for our football club. Ask yourself this. We are sitting mid-table for the second season running. You've got to our elite Champions League winning team. You haven't brought us an elite world-class manager. You've brought us mid-galore, mid-directors. You've sapped everything from the groundsmen to the tea lady, to all of our directors, to all of our elite gaffers, to all of our elite players. You spent one billion, the most out of any club in the last year and a half, ever since you walked in. And you've got the audacity to say everything's going to be all right. We sing that when... Everything ain't all right. And nothing is all right right now. And nothing's going to change. Wherever you say, nothing's going to change what the supporters feel. And you still have an answer to the supporters. So let's have it right. Get back on your keyboard. Better still, go and sit down with Meatloaf Bowley and Siri Merchant and rewrite a script to, to put out for your PR Happy Meals and come back with a better response to the Chelsea Supporters Trust. Better still, why don't... Egg Barley and Bowley do what Sergin Ratcliffe did. Sergin Ratcliffe came into the football club, but with 25%, whatever it is, sat with their supporters' trust for four hours live on camera, going through in detail what he's going to do. Since then, he's gone and built a whole new structure, a whole new environment for the gaffer and the team to perform on the pitch to win and be dominant and bring Manchester United back to where they belong. You're not doing that. You are weak, jellyfish, boneless, spineless. Yeah? I'll tell you why they're doing this. It's a simple fact. They're not going to change their model. They're not going to change their ways. So they are finding any excuse under the sun to create a divide and go to war with the supporters now and create more of a divide with the supporters. The supporters, they've tried to be buying with the PR Happy Meals that they bought enough time up to this point, but now they can't do it. Now they can't do it. It's gone too far. Mate, Clown Lake is out there, viral, global. You're clowns. Do you understand that? You are clowns. You're getting mugged off by Sooners. You're getting mugged off by all the Chelsea supporters true supporters that know exactly what's happening at football club and no brown envelope matrix is going to change our minds because we can see with our own two eyes and we've got our own brains. We're not brown envelope minions reprogrammed like you like to do in the matrix to all these so-called fans out there that are buying into this nonsense. They give them time and all this jazz. You know what I'm saying? Oh, mate. 
You lot are in the bin, bruv. You're in the bin, you're in the woods, you're in the mud, and you ain't getting out. And it's an absolute disgrace, yeah? It's an absolute disgrace. Another thing today announced. Let me read it to you. Let me read it to you. Because this is another example that these clowns do not give a toss about the supporters. Because today, the Chelsea Supporters Trust that represents the supporters, right, put an official statement out today. And let me put it up for you. Sheffield United v Chelsea Football Club compensation scheme. We are pleased to confirm that a compensation scheme will be set up for those left out of pocket by the decision to rearrange Sheffield United v Chelsea on April the 7th, 2024. The scheme will look to compensate those who had purchased non-refundable train tickets and will be set up by Sheffield United following a proposal put by the Chelsea Supporters Trust. This is great news and we would like to thank Sheffield United Football Club and the Premier League for their support on this initiative. This is the first compensation scheme of this nature to be set up. Specific details are still being ironed out and further information will be released in due course. What an absolute disgrace and embarrassment by Meatloaf Bowley, Siri Merchant, Clown Lake, Blue Co and the, the Fan Advisory Board. Because we have had, we, the Chelsea Supporters Trust has communicated with Sheffield United and the Premier League to get some, comp, comp, get some <coughs> compensation. And they have been successful with that. Why is our club not doing it? Why is not the CEO dealing with it? Why is not the owners dealing with it? Why is not the fan advisory board not dealing with it? Why is everyone coming to the Chelsea Supporters Trust? from the Premier League and the club Sheffield United because that's who represents Chelsea and protects the supporters, not the fan advisory board. What a bad look that is. That's disgrace. Yeah, it's an absolute disgrace. Right? That tells you one thing and one thing only. These owners don't care about the supporters. They only care about the eye of the fan. The fan is global. Make sure they buy merchandise. Make sure they pay for memberships. Make sure when they come over, they spend all the money. Make sure you increase the global monetization. Maximize profits. Monetize content. You're relying on an entire fan base. But the Chelsea supporters, the ones that go to the games, the ones that are part of the supporters' trust, there's a difference. They represent all the fans as well. They represent everyone. These clowns have brought in an advisory board so that they can control the narrative when necessary. And right now, with all the campaign that's going on and the protests that are happening because of the Chelsea supporters, they want the fan advisory board to speak up. Now, my um, the uh, vice the chairman, sorry, of Chelsea Supporters Trust, Mark Meehan, is part of an additional fan advisory member, but he's not the main board member. There's three main board members. He has no say. There is no way I believe that he would accept that. Be on that board, on that additional member, a part of the board, and accept that response to the, to the trust that he's the chairman of. Because he has no say. And they're very clever, these clowns. They got him on board, so it's a good look. But the reality is, I know this Mark guy 100%, all right? His best interest is with the Chelsea Supporters Trust, not the Fan Advisory Board. But he's there to see with his own eyes, and he knows what's going on. So he will expose it. And today was announced about Sheffield United compensation with the Premier League to Chelsea Supporters Trust is to prove that point that you've replied to us, Fan Advisory Board, but we've replied with the best response. We've gone with a Mike Tyson left hook, right hook. You're knocked out. You're on the floor. And we bit your fucking ear off as well. Yeah? Because you should have been doing that and you didn't. The Chelsea Supporters Trust did.
to have it right. I tell you what, yeah, these owners don't care about our, our, our football club. They don't care about supporters. They are there and mud us, destroy us, and that's exactly what they've done. And all they care about is pound notes. That's all they want. They want to make money, profit. It's a business to them. We want to increase business value. That's more important than winning or losing on the field. That tells you everything you need to know. There's nothing else you need to know. That's the narrative. That's come out of their mouth. That's the truth. So have it right. So Jim Raptive, again, I go back to him. Five minutes he's been there. Proof's in the pudding what he does. But why is Bowley and Meatloaf and Siri Merchant not sitting down with the Chelsea Supports Trust because they they don't recognise Chelsea Supports Trust because they set up a Chelsea Fans Advisory Board. And you on the Fan Advisory Board, ones that are actually allowing this shit to go out, is a disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. It's a wrong and move. Let's have it right. And they're the facts. Let me continue a few of these and we'll continue landing minerals and mud in these lot. Uh, big up Bobby Fairview. Big up Johnny. Could the owners be any more predictable? The slander at Marina was peak. And by the way, who picks the fan advisory board? Well, that's a great question. We're going to get on to Marina and Don Roman and the slander and the disgraceful PR, anti-Roman and Marina PR. We'll get into that. Don't worry about that. I'm getting into that after this, after we land the minerals here. But you're right. Who picked the fans advisory board? The clown lakes themselves. They've got a yes man. Everything in their model is a yes man. Everyone. Everyone put there. Yes man. Controllable. Yes, sir. Please, sir. Free bags full, sir. Bend over. Do as I say, sir. Let's have it right. Big up Bobby Fairview becoming a Minerals FC Ultra for 12 months. Legend. Uh, big up Carefree. He says, me and he's on the Supporters Trust and the Fan Advisory Board. What's going on? Very suspicious. All the brown paper mob. In full force now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go in defense. I'm gonna find out. I will find out. All right. But from what I've shown early on the stream, he's an additional member. He's not actually the that there's three kingpins on that board that lead that fan advisory board. He's not one of them. So I think it's a PR stunt by these clowns, to get him on board because they know he's part of the Chelsea Sports Trust to try and get him in the pocket. The idea is this, from Clown Lake, is they want to filter out the supporters, the old school, the diehard, and bring in the general fan. That's it. And that's what they're doing. We're going to have the prawn in sandwich merchants, all the commercial suits and boots, and none of the hard, diehard Proper Chelsea supporters. The so-called ones that Simon, Joe 90, Jordan calls us what? Activists, you know, radicalists. You know what I'm saying? Militant. Bruv, we die for our football club. We live for our football club. We fight for our football club. Like every other football club you go through, they've got their ultras, they've got their diehards, they've got their propers there. Yeah? There's nothing, there's no difference with Chelsea. Except Chelsea was the most notorious, is the most notorious. So let's have it right. Drink it in. But it is suspicious, and I will find out. And on my next stream, I will land the minerals on that. But it is. I thought that as well. But when I actually investigated, I could see he's not really got a say. His name's just there. So there to cause some sort of confusion. So have it right. Big up a carefree land it. Here's Todd Bowley. At this rate, I'll buy brain and all teenagers. Yeah, I bet you will. You know what I'm saying? Listen, it wouldn't surprise me, bruv. Shout out straight, but it wouldn't surprise me, all right, if we get our pre-season tour in Epstein Island, bruv, 2025. Do you know what I mean? The way we're going. Because after all of this nonsense has come out that they're bringing out with the Fan Advisory Board, we've got Ozzyman Talks, we've got this William kid for 60 million euros, we got we value Cole Palmer at 85 million, but we're going to offer him a contract extension because we want to get more pound notes, let's have it right. Their model's working wonderfully. They're making money. They're increasing uh, value on the players that they buy. That's all they care about. Mid-table doesn't matter. Sit uh, 15th position, sit 7th position, you're only getting uh, you're getting 140 million. You sit 6th position and upwards, you're getting 157 million. 140 million's all right for them. They're happy with that. They're happy with that. Big up uh, Pista, Eros. 
He says, how can any fan in their right mind trust one word of these lot anymore? Just go, pack your gloves, suspenders, hats, masks, fake teeth, fake eyelashes, clown hoods and badges and go. Stop ruining our club. Crime late out at the Chelsea. Facts. There are people saying that Chelsea Sports Trust ain't my voice. You melts. Wrong uns, yeah? They're there to defend and protect our football club. Yeah? There's no one else defending it. Because the fan advisory board, that's owned by Clown Lake. So they ain't defending shit. They're defending their model. And their antics and their scams. And their business venture using our football club. Milking our football club. Disgraceful, bruv. Big up Roman James Abramovich. He says, fuck Bowley and take your fucking uh, Chelsea. Um, is that you're, you're talking about the fan advisory board <coughs> with you? Let's have it right. Not wrong. And facts. We don't recognize this board. This board is nothing, mate. Yeah. This board is a load of waffle, mate. Yeah. Let's have it right. Uh, big up to um, replays. 96 says, big up, John. Nothing can make me hate Roman and Marina. Nothing can make us hate Don Roman. Made us the most successful club in the last 18 odd years, 19 years. We won 19 trophies. Let's have it right. We've won the whole lot. We're the biggest club in London, most elite club in London. We are a world class club, world class minerals. Yeah. So Graham Souness and Simon Jordan. Basically saying we're not a world-class club anymore, not now, yeah? Let's have it right. We were under Roman two and a half years ago. No, not even that. Two years ago, world-class club, elite club, run as we should be. Now, we're being run like seagull merchants, mid-table. Go and bring me in a world-class manager. Simon Jordan, fair play to him. He said, bring, they should be having a world-class manager. We ain't got a world-class manager. We've got a bottle job. We've got a mid yes man jellyfish. So where's the world class standard set by these clowns that have got the best interests at heart that we want to win? We are want to win. You don't want to win. You want to win financially. You don't want to win sportingly. So have it right. Listen, do they want to go home and I want to go to jail? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Clown Lake, where do you want to go? We're putting you in jail. Yeah, in the Minnows FC jail. Forget the woods. The woods not in. It's not enough. We need to put you in in jail, mate, behind bars. Because what you've done is a criminal offence. It's a crime. Crime Lake. So have it right. Yeah, and we'll put that prison in the woods for you. So make sure you strap up, and we'll put you in a straitjacket as well while we're at it. You know what I'm saying? Muzzled up like Hannibal Lecter, so you can't even relay. Your scripts to these brown envelopes, bruv. Yeah? Done with this nonsense, mate. It's an embarrassment, bruv. An absolute embarrassment. Yeah? So, I want to relay something. Since we've had, I'm going to list it out. Since we've had the sticker campaign, uh, the Chelsea Supporters Trust letter, all right? We've had a counter of PR stunts from these clown leaks. Obviously, we know about Cole Palmer valuation and that the new the contract extension. And if he gets into the Euros, they're raising his wages for obvious reasons. We've got the William, Brazilian, 60 million, who's not an Endrick. So we're, 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 we're going for second best there. Um, we've got negotiations with Riot Airline sponsorship. So another thing, a little positive there. We've got Ozzyman News. And the Ozzyman news is this. Is it really news or is it not? You know what I'm saying? Obviously, we've got the kingpin, Fabrizio Romano. We know what he does. Yeah, we know what he's all about. What does he say? He says, I think um, Chelsea will be there. Some crucial financial points to sort out first before saying, OK, we go for him. Yeah. In other words, sell Conor Gallagher. Right? Get the sponsorship deals in. Balance the FFP books for 2022 to 23. Yeah, right? Then we've got 
the fan advisory board coming out today. We've had the CEO come out to try and simmer things down, to calm it down. You've had Simon Jordan on Talk Sport mugging off the Chelsea Supporters Trust, trying to mug off the ones who created the stickers and the campaign and the protest, which we muddied yesterday on the stream. So make sure you go on the stream last night where we reacted to Simon Jordan on Talk Sport with Jim White, and we absolutely landed minerals and dissected and muddied him. All right? The old, uh, the future's bright, the future's orange liquid data merchant, bro. All right? And then after that, we have for breaking news today, more anti-Roman PR. Now, isn't it, isn't it ironic that we get all of this influx of news to do with Chelsea to divert everyone's psyche away from not only the protest campaign, not only the Chelsea Supports Draft Sticker campaign, but from the absolute state of our football club. The reality that we are a shambles and we're a failure and we are a mid-table club. With everything that's happened at a football club since they walked through the door, they want to mask it with nonsense, PR, player signings, sponsorship deals, the, the CEO coming out. All these things I mentioned, yeah? All this nonsense has been put out to take your mindset away from what's actually happening and to try and simmer down what's been said by Chelsea Sports Trust. But Chelsea Sports Trust fought back today <laughs> superbly. Minnells landed with the Sheffield United Premier League announcement of compensation, mudding the Clown Lakes, who should have been doing that, representing the Chelsea supporters and working with the Chelsea Supporters Trust. They didn't do that, so don't give a fuck about the supporters, right? All of this to what? To buy them time to implement their model, to continue with their model, to get further down the line. That's why they do this. They are the biggest PR Brown envelope matrix I've ever seen in football. They are literally using it for everything that they do. And without it, they're, they're, they're done. They're done for. They're in the bin. And the one thing that they counted on was keeping the supporters on side and buying the supporters with the PR Happy Meals. Now those PR Happy Meals are not being digested. No one's buying into it. No one's believing it. And the Chelsea Supporters Trust are acting. And let's have it right. We are going to land those damn minerals and we will continue to. And there's nothing that they can do about it. All right. Now they're in a pickle. They're worried. They're scared. And that's why today we got this disgraceful, disgraceful brown envelope news. Documents have revealed that Marina was copied in on payments made to agents and advisors from offshore companies owned by Roman Abramovich. She also appears to have received at least 7.5 million in loans from Mr. Abramovich to buy a house. With the debt later written off, Mr. Abramovich and Mrs. Grenovskaya did not respond when asked for a comment. That's the Guardian. Now, if I'm correct, is the Guardian and the Times not under the same umbrella? And Rupert Murdoch is the kingpin. And who is with the Times? Tom Roddy, who's the communications director hired by Meatloaf Bowley and Siri Merchant. Another PR puppet for them who control. But this time it didn't come from the Times. So we called that out. So they've had to go with the Guardian. Same shit. Now, this then broke out. Straight after. It says, Chelsea faced penalties face penalties, including a points deduction or expulsion from the Premier League if they are found guilty of breaching spending rules under Roman, the Roman Abramovich ownership. Now, Jacob Steinberg, absolute melt. But Rob Davis from The Guardian, melt. Brown envelope, payroll merchants. Now, let, let, let me land it. Let me, let me just, let's, let's, let's eliminate this, all right? Now, Roman was in power 18 months ago, or be, let's say two years, actually, because we had all the sanctions and all that. Two years ago, Roman sanctioned. Someone please explain to me, for the period that Roman owned the club, since these so-called deals happened, yeah, 
Marina Gravskaya has been at Chelsea for many years, right? Why has this not come out? Has Roman covered it? Probably. He's covered it. Did FFP, Premier League, or anyone find out about it? No. Would they have found out about it? No. Why did they find out about it? Because these clowns, snitches, snitches get stitches or something, right? These rats went directly to FFP. Please, sir, can I have some more, sir? Um, here on a silver platter, this is all the dirty we got on Don Roman because we want to mud his name. We want to mud his name. So take this. Take it, please. Let Give us just some community service. Give us some PR happy meals. And we can control the supporters. And we can mud, mud off Roman Abramovich. Because we got an agenda on Roman Abramovich. They went and snitched. They delivered this. Otherwise, it would never have been spoken about. Because let's have it right. It's about offshore accounts. What billionaire doesn't have offshore accounts? I don't know. You tell me, bro. Right? Offshore accounts. Cayman Islands, wherever it is, bruv. Yeah? Everyone knows Swiss accounts. Everyone's got them. That's how billionaires are billionaires. What, how you use it? Is it it's, it's, whether it's legal, illegal, who knows? Is this really illegal? She's bought a house. It's to do with player agents. Maybe she's working as a consultant. She doesn't have to respond. She hasn't responded. So what are you going to do? Take them to court? That's exterior to Chelsea. In fact, this has got absolutely nothing to do with the financial fair play books of 2022 to 2023, which is where we are in the shit for, what we need a balance for, and what we're in a red zone for. Because of Clown Lake. Not because of Don Roman. Don Roman left us as a top four club, competing, winning trophies, financially fine. And it doesn't stop there. He left us debt free 1.5 billion. UK government has taken his money and these fucking clowns have the audacity to release this information using their little brown envelopes to try and discredit Roman, to tarnish Roman, like Roman's responsible for the shit that we're in now. We are not in this shit because of Roman. We're in this shit because of Clown Lake. Now, whatever Roman's done, he's done. But no billionaires are saint. And neither are these billionaires. And let's bring it up for what it really fucking well is. I told you, man, don't fuck with the minerals, yeah? All right? Now, right here, you can see it. All right? I'm going to zoom it in. That's up to you if you get it on the big screen. But I'll read it out for you. This is a Chelsea FC Holdings Limited statement here. I have to read it on my phone because it's so small. But you'll have to zoom in when you watch back to the screen. It says, controlling party. The intermediate parent company in Blue Co 22 Midco Limited, a company incorporated in England and Wales. Until 30th of May 2022, the ultimate parent undertaking was for Forstrom Limited, which was Roman's company that owned that owned Chelsea Football Club. All right? That's the parent of Chelsea Football Club. A company incorporated in England and Wales. Since the 30th of May 2022, when the club was taken off Roman and Fulstrom Limited, the directors considered the ultimate parent undertaking to the Blues Investment Holdings LP a limited partnership incorporated in Cayman Islands. So a company, Blue Co 22, Owns Chelsea, it's a parent to Chelsea, but the parent to Blue Co 22 Midco Limited is owned by an unknown company in the Cayman Islands. So why don't we get some dirt on you then? But you won't get the dirt because there's no dirt there and there's no dirt on Roman. This is all a PR stunt to take away your psyche from the reality of the fact that Clown Lake have absolutely destroyed our club, mistakes after mistakes gutted us, implemented this multi-kid, multi-club model using every PR stunt to mask with smokes and mirrors to buy time to implement a, a, a super youth team, gut out our entire elite winning DNA, our, our, everyone at our club that was there with Roman, destroy what Roman's built, mud Roman's name, force the agenda of Roman Abramovich. That's why we got all this information today. Let's have it right.
Yeah. And let's have it right. I haven't said anything out of the blue. It's there. You can go and research it. You can go and read it up yourself. It's there in black and white. Typed. Scripted out there. So I ain't lying. It's the facts. Listen. Roman was a don. Everyone knows it. But what I want you to understand is, on footballing levels, no one can touch him. These guys are trying to mud him for these financial issues. Roman owned this company that paid that money to Marina. Everything he has is his money. He does what he wants. But where's the breach of FFP? And are we honestly going to get done for FFP because of Roman's past past moves that he's made that were never known until these clowns walk through the door? Really? Because I believe these clowns are the campaign against Chelsea. They are there to destroy They have destroyed us. These are the facts, yeah? These are the facts. And people don't like facts because they don't like the truth. They can't handle the truth. Well, this is the reality of the situation. They are liars, just like the media. They lie. They don't tell the truth. Everything's to create false narratives. Brown envelopes, bro. Let's have it right. What my message is, is we have to fight, dissect, go to war with the PR machine that has been implemented by Clown Lake. Because that is what they're using to combat us with. They're trying to manipulate the masses to dig at Roman, to not trust the Chelsea supporters trust. That's the going rate. The reality is the Chelsea supporters, the Chelsea supporters trust, the diehards, the proper Chelsea, the ultras, bruv, yeah? You cannot reason with them. You cannot negotiate with them. You cannot fob them off. You can't buy them. The protest by Strasbourg ultras and the Chelsea, Come into a, a TV near you soon. Let's have it right. And every PR brand envelope will have to write about it. And there's nothing you can do. No fan advisory board is going gonna, is gonna to wipe that slate clean. Yeah? You're a disgrace. You do not represent our football club. You don't care about our football club. And you're not there speaking about to the supporters about what you're doing at our football club because you've got no intention of changing it. These are the facts. Big up Bartek Minnell says, don't forget the Agate saga tried to buy Sporting. They did. Why they were trying to sign Agate? Everyone remembers it. PSG were in for a guy, and what did they go and do? They went and tried to buy a stake in Sporting Lisbon because they want to get in on all the kids. We want loads more kids. We want to farm these players out. We want sparring in Lisbon. We want to go to every continent. We'll streamline beachhead. Fuck your streamlines. Fuck your beachheads. Yeah? Get in the bin. This is not Chels. It's capital ventures, merchants, bro. Equity merchants, clowns. Yeah? Can't even do that right. Plain sporting director. Like you know what you're doing. You wrongins. Meatloaf. Bowley, mate. You're a clown. Yeah? Siri Merchant Egg Barley. You're the biggest clown. You AI robot. Yeah? And for Gazy, Feliciano. <sighs> toothpick clown. Let's have it right. PSG reported sport to Sporting, reported to UEFA, sorry, about Chelsea trying to buy a stake in Sporting. Illegal moves. Let's have it right. Illegal moves. And Chelsea, what happened? Pulled out of the Agate deal straight away. Didn't, you couldn't. It was like Flash Gordon, bruv. Didn't see him leave. Flash. Oh, here comes Clown Lake. Yeah. Absolute wind-up merchants, yeah. Absolute wind-up merchants.
Big up to Blues Enthusiast. He says, the arrogance of these clowns getting us to try turn on Roman. Absolute disgrace trying to tarnish his legacy. You can never tarnish Roman's legacy because let's have it right. And shout out Chelsea Yard boys. We see things they'll never see. They will never be able to do what Roman Bramwich has done. They're only here for 10 years. They're almost in their second year and we're, we're a shambles. We're a mid-table club. We are a mid-table club. Standards are in the mud. Everything at this football club has been destroyed. And uh, we got... What's his name? I wrote it down. Ben da Rob Davis from The Guardian. He's jumping on the ship with Tom Ruddy. Guardian and Times. Teaming up like they're Superman and Batman. Yeah? To try and mud Roman. The fan advisory board. Set up by Clown Lake. Chosen by Clown Lake. Yeah? Trying to attack the Chelsea Supports Trust. Do you not understand? We're in a war now. We're in the war with supporters and fans. We're in a war with the PR. The brand of like Matrix. We're, we're at war with these owners. So all the Minnows FC Ultras, all the proper Chels, all the Chelsea Ultras, yeah, everyone needs to stand up and fight for our Chels because we have to do it. I am relentless with it. Like I've been for the last year, over a year. I will not stop. I will continue. Because I know it's the right thing. And I know the facts. They gutted and destroyed everything our football club. And every rival supporter, like they say we're acting like rival supporters, rival supporters are in agreement with me. <coughs> rival supporters say, respect you, Johnny. You're actually saying it for what it is. It's true. I can't believe your supporters are accepting it. That your fans are accepting it. Yeah? Well, our supporters are not accepting it. The fans might, but the supporters ain't. And anyone trying to mud Don Roman, you're a fucking joke. You're, you're a plastic. You're a wrong one. Let's have it right. Roman's the greatest owner in, in, in football history. Yeah? Gave us the best memories of our of, 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 ever in football for Chelsea supporters. Yeah? We love Roman. Nothing you can do. You can say whatever you want about Roman. It will never change my my feelings and love towards Don Roman for what he done. And let's have it right. It was a Don. Like he said to John Obi Mikel, just give me the give me the go ahead. Give me the nod. I'll go and get your dad. I'll, I'll send some people get your dad for you who's been kidnapped. Let's have it right. And he went and done that. What owner's doing this? You got Meatloaf Bowling Sue imagine. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, 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 John Obi, we'll get you on Talk Spot. Uh, Rupert Murdoch will make it happen and we'll get you on CNN. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll, 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 we'll help you in any way possible. But just, just make sure you don't say the truth about us and what we want to do. And also, uh, if your dad was kidnapped, we would, we would go and get your dad. Yeah, we would get your dad. And also, uh, we would sign about 15 or, 15 or 20 children there with high potential and great stats and data. Uh, and we'll bring them to Chelsea and farm them out of Strasbourg. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Get in the bin, you melts. Yeah, absolute wrong -uns. Absolute wrong -uns. Big up a British patriot, man. He's different gravy, bruv. Different gravy, mustard. He had everything, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? He had everything, man. Everything you can imagine in his locker. So, I want to read this. Chelsea fan... Uh, news fan page, yeah? CFC news page. That's Nathan Toothpick Gizzin. Loves to get the clicks. Loves to feed it. Don't know where he's gone down the pecking order. It's like that Felix the Cat, the little melt. Wants to be a journalist. Well, let's read this one. The former chief executive of Chelsea, Marina Gavskaya, once described as the most powerful woman in football, is facing questions about what she knew of secret payments made under the club's former owner, Roman Abramovich, amid an ongoing investigation into alleged breaches of football spending rules. Details of millions of pounds in fees funded by offshore vehicles belonging to the Russian oligarch emerged last year as a result of the Cyprus Confidential Leaks project, published by the Guardian and International Par Partners. Now, in Cyprus... You have a lot of Russians, a lot of Russians with money. And uh, most of them got tipped off. Um, a lot of the wealthy Cypriots and people that had investment there. Um, you've got uh, Chinese over there. They've got all investments. They got tipped off back in the day. All right. And every other civilian there got taxed 40% or 30% from every bank account in sight. All right. From a fraudulent government move to milk the, the people. Of all their hard-earned money. But they're bringing that up. Interesting that. From the Guardian. 
the, the, the leeches, the brown envelope merchants that they are. Documents uh, from the files indicate that Granovskaya, a close associate of Abramovich, who ran Chelsea until he sold the club in May 2020, knew he didn't sell the club, he was sanctioned and forced to sell it. All right? State the facts. Including a fee paid to agent of Star Platinum and Hazard. That was 32 million we paid for it and Hazard. Tuppence. She also appears to have uh, benefited personally from some of the payments, raising questions over whether she received extra money from Abramovich for her work at the club. Of the top of, of on top of her Chelsea salary, the files suggest offshore companies in the Bramwich network made loans to Granite Sky worth 7.5 million to the to finance the purchase of a house in Fulham near the Chelsea uh, near the club Stamford Bridge Stadium and a payment of uh, 1.63 million for financial tax and legal due diligence. The Premier League is investigating whether Bramwich secretly subsided his team by using offshore companies to make payments which should, under rules designed to ensure fair competition, have been made by the club itself from its own bank accounts. The material raises questions uh, about oversight of the club's affairs by its board, which was chaired by the American lawyer Bruce Buck during Abramovich's high, highly successful reign. Buck was a partner at a law firm, Skadden, which acted for Chelsea and Abramovich for two decades and held senior positions uh, at the Premier League, which acts. Um, and then it goes on to say the Premier League investigation was triggered after the club's new owners and consortium, whose figurehead in US investor Todd Bowley, reported suspected breaches by previous management. Grand Sky did not request, re uh, request uh, did not return requests for comment. You are a rat. Meatloaf Bowley. Siri Merchant, Clown Lake, get out of our club. You are not Chelsea. You are here to destroy us. And you're trying to mud Roman and snitch on Roman, the greatest owner who left our club at the fucking top. And now you've brought us down mid-table. And because of your fuck-ups, you're trying to what? You're trying to mud him so it covers up the reality that you've killed our football club. What a disgrace, man. You outright agenda merchants on our Roman. You were put there by Rain Group, and we all know it. Who was put there by the bloody UK government who destroyed our football club. Political disgrace. And they still got Roman's money. He left you 1.5 billion debt free and you still muffed that up. Yeah? And you have the audacity to come at Roman. You disgrace, man. We will never support you. We will never believe you. You're liars. You're rats. You know what happens to a rat in the game. Yeah? You're rats. You didn't even have to publicise this. But you've done it because that's your ace in the in, in, in the pack, bruv. Out of your back pockets like every other brown envelope journalist is in your back pocket. Yeah? You pulled that out. Ratfish merchants, bruv. Yeah? Poisonous. Venomous disgraceful, money ball, fucking yank merchants coming to our football club in trade. Anyone who supports these clans, get out of our fan base. You're as toxic as they are, bro. Yeah? Don Roman. Do you know what? Yeah? Fuck it. Yeah? Every stream, bro. Every stream without fail, bro. Every stream without fail. Yeah? <laughs> And we chant that every game. We have to chant that every game, mate. Win, lose, draw, chant it. All the Chelsea have got to chant it now. This is where we go now, yeah? Banners, get your banners ready. Get your stickers. Anyone can print the stickers now. They're out there. Everyone's printing them everywhere, yeah? Get your stickers out. Land it everywhere, worldwide, international, bruv. Do it in the States, in their own backyard, yeah? And mug them off. Because you now got to war with us. You got to war with the Minerals FC and you got to war with the Chelsea Supporters Trust and you got to war with the Chelsea Supporters, the proper Chelsea, yeah? Oh, my. Biggest mistake you made, you fucking clowns, yeah? 
biggest mistake you've made. Big up to Michael Chelsea FC. Big up Johnny landing all the minerals. Then the the nerve of these brown envelope calling Kovacic Deadwood, and he could win a treble with Man City clowns. I mean, that's just like that's <laughs> Kovacic ain't Deadwood. All these wrongers in the fan base said he's Deadwood. All these wrongers are promoting. Casado and Enzo, who are nowhere near our midfield that we had before. They're downgrades, bro. What have they done? They've done nothing in their careers, man. They've won nothing in domestic careers. Nothing. They've done nothing for Chelsea. Casado's had how many seasons now in the Premier League? How long's Enzo been here? Is this his second season at Chelsea? What's he done? What's Jackson done? What's all these players done? How are you relying on Cole Palmer? who was sold by Pep Guardiola because he couldn't get in the team and he didn't think he was good enough. He's not better than Foden. That's the reality why he sold him. Not because Cole Palmer goes, I want to leave. Bullshit. I don't believe it, bruv. Yeah? If a gaffer wants a player who's in control, he keeps a player. End of story. Yeah? Ex-old mate. Yeah? Comes to Chelsea and we're relying on this kid to carry our football team. He should be in and off the bench being eased in, not carrying this team, because these clowns built this team with AI scouting and data. That's why where we are. So have it right. Don't ever forget it. Big up to Mike Chelsea CFC, becoming a Minnows FC Ultra member for three months. Respect to you. Uh, Blues Infusions, what are your thoughts on Marina? Listen, everyone's got their flaws. Everyone's done good and done bad. The reality is she did good and she did bad. Certain signings, certain movements, but she was the night the Iron Lady Tough negotiator. She got us good deals. And then as of 32 million back then was nothing for a player of his caliber. That's young world-class talent that you buy. Not all this shit we're buying. That's not world-class talent. And then as our this, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Listen, she got deals wrong, but she got things right. At the end of the day, we were successful. We landed it. She was there when we had Tommy T, Emma Hayes, all our ballers, bruv. And Chelsea Football Club at the uh, Ballon d'Or Awards for the, the uh, for Europe's best team um, at all the UEFA awards and events, bruv. Being the Club World Cup winners, champions of Europe, kings of the world, kings of Europe. Yeah, Marina was part of that. So she goes down as a goat as far as I'm concerned. I don't give a shit. Anyone with an agenda on these lot, what we got now? Look what we've inherited now. What we've been served up. We've been plated, bruv. We've been plated. Yeah, disgracefully. Uh, big out of Johnny CFC. He says, too many wrongers listening to clown uh, Lewis G, the biggest brown envelope melt, who is a mouthpiece to these clown lakes. Clown Lake out, up to Chelsea, up to Mills FC. What's Chelsea Fan TV saying about all this? Did they do a video on the stickers? I don't know. I don't watch it. What's the, what's the narrative? What's the going rate? Listen, anyone who's not speaking that narrative, you're in the pocket in some way or another. Let's have it right. If people aren't speaking what's out and they're mudding Roman and they're disrespecting players like Gallagher, he's been our best player. He's better than the whole midfielder. He's been more important than fucking Cole Palmer at this rate. Because the midfield wins and uh, wins you games, essentially. There's a difference between winning and losing and drawing games. And we've been poor. But games that Connor's been in, majority, we've needed him. Cole Palmer, GA, great. But in the big moments, final, where was he? Where was he in the Liverpool final against the C-team kids of the veneer merchant? I'm asking for a mate, you know. It works both ways. You got, you know, you want to defend, you want to defend players for being mid and average, um, but force and exile out players that want to be at a football club that have been forced out by the owners. Again, today, another news broke out about Conor Gallagher. We know you're going to sell him, you melt. You're doing the same thing you did to Mason Mount. I know how these, these clowns work like clockwork orange, mate, on that dentist chair with their eyes pinned open, bruv. Yeah? I know exactly what they're all about. Yeah? Don't get it twisted, bruv. No one get it twisted, bruv. Yeah? And facts. Pep Guardiola came out of it. Even Jose Marino, you can't win things with just kids. You don't win things with kids. That's not ambition to challenge at the top level, having kids. Oh, but we need five years. Five years to develop these players, add value to these players, which is why you don't buy experience at older players because they've got no resale value. You said it, Siri Merchant. You fucking well said it out of your mouth, all right? So you've got all these young players 
right, to keep for three, four years on eight-year death row contracts to then sell them for profit. Not to win titles because they won't be there for us to win any titles because they'll be sold before we can even compete. We're a feeder club. We're a farming club. We're, e oh, McDonald had a farm. E -I -I Clown Lake had a farm. E -I -I you know what I'm saying? That's what it is now. Yeah? That's the reality situation, bro. Uh, big up to Eddie Sucks Toes. He says, thanks for MM7. Uh, marked uh, Virgil van Dyke on the corner that United counted and, and won on. Thanks for the answer. Uh, the answer. Salute baller. Absolute baller. Bet we win the FA Cup. Ha, oh, thanks, lad. Listen, you can try and rattle me, bruv. The bottom line is, I know. I'm not the one that's going to be rattled. All the melts that come at him and out of the gender are going to be muddied, bruv, and crying, mate. Yeah? Because it's an absolute fucking disgrace that we've sold him to United. And these clowns sold him. They forced him out and exiled him. And anyone behind the scenes, ask John Terry. John Terry knows the truth. Called him proper chels. And that's our captain legend leader, bruv. Yeah? You understand me? He knows the truth. And just like Chago Silva's been exiled, fucking land the minerals, bruv. Let's land it, bruv. Yeah? Let's land it for what it really is. Yeah? Get these clowns out. I swear I'll smash up this screen, bruv. I'm rattled. Yeah? I'm rattled. Yeah? This is a wind-up. We have pocketed the worst owners in the history of sport. Worse than the Glazers. Worse than anything, mate. Yeah? Absolute disgrace, bruv. Absolute disgrace, man. Anyone in here, new, subscribe to the channel. Let's get to the 10K. Respect to everyone, bruv. Let's get to 10K. We need to hit the 10K. All right? We are literally... Let me see. What are we on now? What are we on now? 62, 62 subs off 10K, yeah? Listen, the true narrative, bruv, the true narrative is this. Two clubs being destroyed. Strasbourg being destroyed, and they won't even reply to Strasbourg, these clowns, yeah? And our football club, Chelsea, is being destroyed. And anyone who doesn't say that, you're, you're in denial, you're either bought, or you're just outright fucking stupid and you're not a true Chelsea supporter, yeah? That's the only way I see it, bro, yeah? Let's have it right. All these melts on platforms, all these brown envelopes, you sold, just sold for the pound note. You sold, just sold for the pound note, yeah? We don't sell our soul for pound notes, mate, yeah? We keep our soul, yeah? Because the supporters is the only soul left at Chelsea Football Club. Everything else has been sucked out of us and destroyed, bruv. Yeah? Yeah, that's quality. Don't worry about a thing. As long as we buy PR, every little thing's going to be all right. PR happy. Meals are for free. You know what I'm saying? Mugs. Get Clown Lake out, bruv. Get him out of this football club. Yeah? Listen, the reality is this. We have mudded these clowns tonight. They might as well get Gap Kids on the on the on the front of the shirt as a sponsor. They might as well get uh, Mother Care or uh, OnlyFans on the badge there, you know. Uh, get, get what's ride airlines, bruv? Where are you flying to? Epstein? Where are you going? Don't know. It's very suspicious, bruv. Because this Epstein FC multi kid project, this kindergarten FC, everything they're doing is to mask what they're doing, guys. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Understand it. Everything is to mask what they're doing. All right. And try and get away with it, bruv. Pampers, Huggies, you name it, bruv. We'll have that around the banners in every game highlighted, man. You know what I'm saying? Johnson Shampoo, you name it, man. I 
honestly, mate, this is a shambles, bruv. It's an absolute shambles. Our club is in the gutter. And people don't, people are fucking buying into this nonsense, mate. People are buying into this. Yeah. People are actually buying into this. And you have to question how are you buying into this? Yeah. They create the fan advisory board specifically for situations like this because the Chelsea Sports Trust was a danger to them, a threat to them. And now we know why. Because they spoke the truth. They dismissed the letter again. They didn't even respond to the letter, this fan advisory board. They dismissed the letter saying everything's going to be all right. What an insult. What a disgrace. We got the Sheffield United and the uh, uh, Premier League sorting out compensation directly to the Chelsea Sports Trust. Not our owners, not our club, not our CEO, not the fan advisory board. So what does that tell you? They don't care about the supporters. And the Chelsea Supporters Trust is the representation of the supporters. Fuck's sake, man. People that stupid, bro. People that stupid. Guys, smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. We're literally 60 odd away from 10K. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Keep landing in the chat. Get in the chat. Respect to everyone landing the damn minerals in here. Respect to everyone. And I forgot. How can I forget to mention the worst thing of all? Todd Bowley, Meatloaf and Beg De Bali have directly asked the Chelsea Fan Advisory Board to help shape proposal for ticketing next season. Go and speak to the Chelsea Supporters Trust, you melt. Well, you're going to Fan Advisory Board. You are literally so light, bruv. You've you got nothing. You ain't got no granite chin. You're spineless. You know what I'm saying? Absolute spineless rats. You know, rats, they can get through the tiniest little nicks and crannies, bruv. Yeah? Nicks and crannies, they can get through it. Biggest rats, bruv. Yeah? Dealing with a fan of... Let's see what you do with ticketing. Because your CEO signed it off, Meatloaf Bowley, and you know he did because he told you and you didn't override him because I don't want to override his decision. He's CEO now. <laughs> Respect the hierarchy. Yeah, respect the hierarchy, respect the supporters. And the one biggest thing, the one thing, all right, it's a joke that they call it fan advisory board. And it's a joke that they dismiss the Chelsea Sports Trust. But why? They don't identify as supporters. They don't even identify the fans. They identify us as customers. You call us customers. So let's have it right. You don't care about our football club. You don't care about supporters. We got you by the nutsack, short and curly, save it right. You're on one air on a nutsack, yeah? And we're going to come with Edward Scissorhands and go chop it off, mate, yeah? Cut them out. Cut the cancer out of our football club. And it's very simple, yeah? It's very simple. Clown Lake, free ring circus, get them out. We want our Chelsea back. And we do. We want our Chelsea back. We're done with this nonsense, yeah? No one can mud Roman Baric, Marina, Graf Skyer. I don't care what anyone says. No one can mud them. Anyone who does, they're a fagazi, mate. Yeah? And they are here to destroy what Roman's built, divide and conquer, create order out of chaos, and say we built it to make money and double up and make profit on our football club and using the one that they tarnish, the one that they've used these brown envelopes to try and mud and 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 uh, uh, completely um, trash Roman's name, all the heritage and all the success that Roman left us with, they are using that to make money. Sly rats, yeah, clowns. And they bring us an ex Spursy, proper Spursy gaffer. Yeah, disgraceful, bro. Mate, there's nothing that these lot can do that goes past me. Nothing whatsoever. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, 
Nothing can get past us. Nothing fools us on the Minnows FC. Yeah, we see through it. Yeah, trust me. Big up to everyone, man. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And let's keep rolling, bro. Yeah. We're carefree minerals. Yeah. We're carefree minerals. Because we know the game. Listen, we protested at Wembley, mate. That's that's the one. That's the one. Trust me. Yeah. There's a reason I've been blacklisted. There's a reason I've been blocked by journalists. There's a reason why I've been blocked and, and cut out of so-called circles and, and platforms. There's a reason why I've been shadow banned. There's a reason why. Because I tell the truth and I say the things that they don't want out. And I can still do it. And yet we have the lowest amount of subscribers. We're the smallest channel, but we are making the biggest difference out there for our Chelsea. And that is what we do it for. That's all that matters. And one day we will be as big and we will not be able to be controlled, bro. Let's have it right. We're still not controlled, but they're trying to control our numbers. They're trying to control people again, telling me they don't get notifications and all this. Yeah. You have to just keep looking every day to see when I'm live. Sometimes they hide that I'm live as well to all, our, all the supporters of the Minerals FC. Don't ever forget that, bro. Big out of Brian. He's going to land in New York. We know it, bro. We know it. It's going to land the proper Chelsea Minerals, yeah? And I will go and talk sport, and I will land it. It's very difficult with work to call up uh, Simon Jordan. I want to debate Simon Jordan. I want to debate Simon Jordan. I want to sit there and debate him, bruv, yeah? Let's have it right. And I guarantee you I'm mudding, all right? Um, and I'll try and get on as, as uh, any time I can at all means necessary, yeah? Um but we have to keep landing it. We have to keep together. We have to keep supporting each other. And we need to, we need to, we need to stick together, guys. Yeah. Big up, Steve G. He's going to land it. He's going to land it. Minerals are going to be landed, mate. Yeah. These clowns don't realise, man. This PR that they're throwing now is nothing. Wishy-washy. It's got no substance. No minerals. Nothing. Yeah, what we're going to do, what we are doing, us as a fan base, a true supporters, the true supporters are landing it, bruv. Yeah. Ultras, bruv. Yeah, ultras. Ultras are here to land it, bruv. Guys, hit that subscribe button. What are we on now, guys? We've got to be close to the 10K. We've got to get to 10K, bruv. We've got to get to the 10K. You don't get this anywhere else. And that was reported by Matt Law about Bowling Egg Barley. have directly asked Chelsea Fan Advisory Board to help shape proposal for ticketing next season. Well, that's ironic. Matt Law's actually exploiting uh, these clowns because no, they don't want you to know that they've asked the Fan Advisory Board because they've actually dismissed the Chelsea Supporters Trust completely. When it when the letter wasn't addressed to CO Jurisic, it was addressed to Bowling at Bali. Yeah, but they're cowards. They're cowards. They don't care about our club. You know what I'm saying? Get those likes up as well, guys. Smash them likes. We've got what 400 of you lot in there. Smash them likes. We need the likes up. The likes pushes out the minerals, pushes out the stream. Pushes out everything at the football club uh, that needs to be told the truth about the football club. It needs to be put out there, guys. It needs to be put out there. So. Chelsea fans in civil war after strong new twist in divide. Div De uh, divisive saga. These are the titles now. This is what's coming out, guys. Yeah. This is this is the war we're at now. Yeah. We got the Chelsea fan advisory board accused supporters trust of seeking chaos and division. Yeah, because they are the mouthpiece of Clown Lake. 
This is Clown Lake PR. The Fan Advisory Board is not for Chelsea supporters. It's the Clown Lake PR. Don't ever forget it. We do not recognise them. Liars. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Get off that board if you're proper Chelsea. Should be on that board. Rattles me. The f f fan advisable urged against attacks and campaigns. You ain't stopping us, mate. You ain't stopping us. After a damning letter sent to by the Chelsea Support Trust to Blues co owners Todd Bowley and Baghdad Bali, but yet we got these clowns speaking for us. Speaking for them. This is basically Bowley and Bali's reply is through the fan advisory board. That is them replying. Listen, irreversible toxicity, bring it on. Yeah? Sticker campaigns, bring it on. Because you have made us the laughing stock. But you are the biggest laughing stock in world football. How to destroy a club in 18 months. How not to run a club. Yeah? And you're still adamant and arrogant to continue in this way because I know you're not changing. You ain't changing. You gave us false PR that you're going to buy a 27-year-old defender. Lies. All lies. Yeah? And let's wait and see what happens to Don Roman. Let's see whether we get points deductions and let's see how we get out of financial fair play because it's all their fucking mess with financial fair play. Not Don Roman. That's another separate issue altogether. It's a different animal altogether. And that's for Roman to deal with. Himself with Marina. Nothing. Clowns, but these clowns snitched on Roman. So don't ever forget that these fucking clowns that are in charge of our football club are against us. They're against Chelsea. So we're against you. You've just created a war. That's what these clowns have done. It's created a war. But this is only going to rifle us up, rattle us even more. Ready to go to war. We're prepared. We've set the tone. Supports Trust put the letter out. Stickers are flying about. It's all peed up, PR'd up. Viral. You're clowns. Everyone's calling you clowns. Rival supports are calling you clowns. I've been calling you Clown Lake for about eight or nine months. Influences is peak. Influences through the roof. That's about how about PR there, mate? Why don't you drink that PR in, you clowns? Drink that PR in. Everything that when you watch the game is a byproduct of the structure that is at our football club. That's rotted us. It's a byproduct. Let's have it right. And that's the reality. Yeah. Big up to everyone in here. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you put all your comments down below. What what super chat, my geezer? What super minerals, bruv? Oh, yeah. Big up to you. He says, Johnny, would, would ever turn on Roman? Would you ever turn on Roman? Even if we got relegated and completely fucked personally, I don't think many people would maybe, uh, would maybe I'm wrong. I don't, I'd never turn on Roman because it's not Roman's, it's not Roman's fault we're being relegated. They're going to get points deduction because of their FFP breaches, not because of Roman. They're going to use Roman. Roman, mate, don't, listen, these clowns are very stupid to mess with Roman because Roman will find a way. And they'll have lawsuits on the doorstep, yeah? I guarantee it. I certify it. He they, he will send those brown envelopes to them. And they'll be wetting themselves. The reality is, I don't think anything's going to come of it. It's all about the timing of PR. How it's orchestrated. What time to implement a certain narrative. To take away the psyche away from what the reality of the situation is where Chelsea are at, what these clowns have done to us, they ignore us, they're dismissing, they're using every platform to mug, up, mug the Chelsea Supporters Trust, who are speaking for the fans, speaking for the supporters. Well, this is the difference, bruv, yeah? They use 
Simon Jordan. Why? Well, you know the clip I, I I clipped yesterday that I reacted to. That wasn't put out on any any YouTube platform. Normally they put it out. They put the last one out about the letter. They didn't want to put the sticker campaign one up because they didn't want to bring more light to it. They didn't want to aggravate it and make it build up bigger because it, Rupert Murdoch owns Talk Sport. Talk Sport, therefore, and Rupert Murdoch have nice ties with Meatloaf Boney Siri merchants, have it right. Um, and that's how it, how it works. It's all hand in hand, elephant walks galore. So, you know what I'm saying? There's a reason why. They're trying to die it down. The reality is they can't control it. It's out there. It's done. It's finished. Um, but I'd never turn on Roman. Never. No chance. I'd never turn on Don Roman, bro. Absolutely not. So have it right. And Rupert Murdoch, is he a Man United fiend, is he? Yeah, they get all the good PR, don't they? Joke, mate. And how can I forget? Of course, salute to the GOAT, greatest left back, Cashley Cole. Arsenal fans, get over it. I left. <clears throat> I won. I have a star on my shirt now. Let's have it right. Big up to Ashley Cole in the Hall of Fame. Premier League Hall of Fame. Respect to him. And um, he's, 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 listen, we ain't making signings like that ever again, mate. Yeah. We ain't getting signings like that. That was legendary to pick from Arsenal. And he was in part of the Invincibles. And we still picked him at Chelsea and brought him at Chelsea, tapped him up, goat Marino, bruv, and landed it, bruv. Greatest English left back ever. Uh, greatest Premier League left back ever for me. Um, and probably one of the all-time greats in the game. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Cole's landing it, bruv. You know what I'm saying? We see things they'll never see. Absolute legend, bruv. But as always, guys, trust the protest. Trust the protest. Big up to everyone in here. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Big up to Don Roman. Gifting uh, Minerals FC Ultra membership. Big up to all my new Minerals FC Ultra members. Big up to everyone saluting um, uh, and, and participating in the chat and watching. Respect to everyone that supports uh, the channel uh, and supports the truth. Um, and uh, as always, we want Clown Lake out. Let's have it right. We see things they'll never see. And the reality is, this is not, this is the facts. This is what we want. We want this. We want them out. I want them out. I want them out. Respect to everyone. Love to everyone. RRP, our goat, Chelsea, your boys. And for all you wrongans with your agenda, yeah, let's have it right. This one's for you. And drink it in. Respect to everyone. As always, let's have it right. Up the Chels, up the Mills FC. Put all your comments down below. We're very close to 10K. Make sure you do subscribe. Make sure you do like. And respect to everyone in here. Love to all you guys, all the Mills FC Ultras. And keep landing everywhere you go. And we will not be defeated. We'll be relentless. And we will continue to land the damn minerals. Let's have it right. And fight for our Chels. And we want our Chels back. You know what I'm saying? Big up to everyone. Stay safe. Keep winning. Make sure mental health, all good. You know what I'm saying? And we will fight together, bruv.
We all fight. We're a family, bruv. We're, we're the ultras, bruv. We're together. You know what I'm saying? All for the Chels. And um, good health and happiness to everyone out there. You know what I'm saying? So, as always, up the Chels, up Mills FC. Let's go.